Uh, in this video, I will be uh, demonstrating one application of integral most special in finding the area in which in here I will be deriving the area of a circle. Now that we have learned the trigonometric substitution, then we can uh, easily solve or derive the area of a circle. Kasi nga yung, yung basic integration will not be able to, to solve the in integrand derived from uh, finding the area of a circle. So let us proceed. So we know that the equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared equals to the radius squared. Okay, kung ito drawing natin ito, ang ganito siya. Sa bilog to. Equal, ano ba yan? Ha. Tunda lang ba yan? Eh? Subukan ba ito? Ha. Ayan. So, yan. Ayan. So, yung radius niya, di ba circle? Ito yung circle. Ito yung center. A line passing through the center. And it will be points on the other end of the circle. Ang tawag natin ng length na ito is uh, diameter. Kalahati niyan is, of course, the radius, di ba? So, ito yung equation niya. x squared plus y squared equals to r squared. Kasi nga kung if we take uh, x equals to 0, y is equal to the square root of r squared and we have positive and negative r so palaging dalawa yung answer mo kung ipa-plot mo ito when x daw is 0 dito yung r mo nandito yung positive r and negative r yung y now kung balik ka rin namin natin yung yung y equals to 0 of course x was the square root of r squared x is positive and negative r so, ito naman yung R mo, yung radius to. R, negative R. Ito naman yung, pa, ito naman yung positive R mo. Okay, negative R, positive R. Okay, so, ganyan yan. So, pag uh, <coughs> naglagay pa tayo ng ibang value dito, magkakaroon ka ng value na, ano ba, yung X mo na dito. Yung ba, 1 fourth Y, uh, uh, 1 fourth X. So, makakakuha ka ng corresponding value of, 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 of y. So, kung kuha naman yun, kung alam mo, when x is uh, x equals to 1 half r, so, makakakuha ka ng value dyan, ng y. When in x is negative r, alam ba, alam ba, dito na. Alam natin na zero dyan, di ba? That is when, when x equals to r. So, when x equals to r, we have negative r squared plus y squared equals to r squared. This is this becomes uh, r squared, so this is y y squared. Ito naman ito, di ba? Ito, positive ito, transpose natin sa kabila, magiging r squared minus r squared. So, y is equal to 0. So, tama naman, di ba? Pag yung x natin is r, dito yung x, yung negative r, yung y natin is 0. Tulad din dito, positive, ganun din. When, when x naman is 0, yun naman. When, when y naman equals to r, mag-0 na rin yung x natin. So, yan ang properties ng, ng circle. Yung x and y term is missing ha, dyan, sa what, x squared plus y squared. Yung Yung coefficient nito is 1, coefficient nito is 1. Itong dalawa nakaray sa power of 2 at yung, ito yung constant o yung radius niya, yung dito. So this is the equation of a circle. So, so much with the 
uh, properties of circle of plot. Uh, punta na tayo sa area of a circle. Okay, so yun lang. So, napag-aralan natin, di ba, yung area of a circle. Kuha lang tayo ng quarter. In any way, yung itong tatlo na to, parariyo lang yung area nito, nung quarter, okay? Yung, uh, ano sa Tagalog? Pamapat? Uh, uh, basta one-fourth ng circle, the quarter of a circle. So, yung equation nito, is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Alam natin ng area ba circle ano? Pi r squared. Kung diameter na magamit natin, pi d squared over 4. Bakit? Kasi nga yung, yung diameter is 2 r, diba? I-substitute natin doon. Uh, pi, ano yung diameter? Yung radius, diameter, this is d over 2 squared. So, yun, pi d squared over 4. Kaya, ito yung formula kung diameter gamitin mo. Ito yung formula pag radius yung gamitin mo. So, ito yung i-derive natin. Okay? So, ito yung r natin to 0 r r din ito. Okay? So, magkwata ng strip. Either vertical or horizontal. <clears throat> Gawin na lang natin yung horizontal strip, okay? Para medyo mas madali naman. So, yung vertical natin, yung height niya is variable y. Variable kasi ang daming from, past, from r, magiging zero siya hanggang dito. Okay? Ang dami niya, infinite number. And of course, our differential length is dx. So, yung differential area natin is y dx. And of course, the differential area is equal to length times height. O kaya, kung kumbaga, dx times y. Pero mas maganda isulat natin y dx. Yung isa lang yan ha, yung differential area. Okay, kukunin natin lahat ng maliliit na differential area, i-integrate natin ito. So, integral ang di differential, magka-cancel yan kasi nga natipo mo ng lahat. So, this becomes now the area. So, the area is equal to y dx. Of course, we collect all the differential uh, strips from zero mula dito hanggang dito. Okay? From 0 to R. Okay? So, i-finalize ko na lang dito yung, yung area of a circle, yung, one, yung quarter ha, yung quarter, lagyan natin quarter para hindi tayo malito. Quarter is equal to 0 to R Y GX. Okay? So, yan. But, of course, uh, our derivative is dx in terms of dx. Then, we have to change this function into x. As a function of x, yung y. Okay? Saan tayo kukuha niyan? Dito tayo kukuha niyan. Yan, wala yung y. Okay? Ganyan. x squared plus y squared plus r squared. So, if we solve for y, y is equal to we transpose x over there and take the square root of both sides. So, ganyan yan. R squared minus x squared. So, ito na yung value ng y natin ngayon. So, we substitute it here. So, 0 to r, the square root of r squared minus x squared dx. Yan. Now, if we look at this integral, Walang pumapasok na basic formula. Hindi natin ito masusolve ng power formula, ano ba, logarithm, whatever. O hindi natin masusolve. And uh, alam natin dun sa technique natin, pag meron tayong parang ganon, eh, nakaka, parang nakakahawig niya yung 1 minus sine squared theta. 
Therefore, maybe we can solve this using the trigonometric substitution. Okay, so let us try uh, solving this. But kumukunta ka doon. Okay. So, so, let us try now. Blue naman tayo. So, let us try uh, x. Okay, let x equal to meron ditong r para ma, ma, ma factor out natin yung r mamaya. Kailan lagyan natin ng r dito. Therefore, this becomes r sin theta. Pag in-square mo yan, square, square, so square, square, mag-factor out mo yung r squared. Matitira dito 1, matitira dito yung uh, sin squared, which is, ito yung lalabas niya, which is equal to cosine squared theta. Diba? Yun ang target natin. So, ba't tayo, uh, ba't na nilagay natin ng r dito? So, of course, we have to solve for the dx. We change this. And kukunin natin pag i-derive natin ito. So, dx nito, the derivative of this equation is r cosine theta d theta. Of course, uh, yung limit natin is linya. Dapat i-convert natin yan sa, sa radian o sa angle. Kasi nga ito, angle na ito. Di ba? Ito yung theta, angle yan. So, dapat itong limit, ma-convert din natin yan. So, para hindi na tayo bumalik dun sa algebra. Mamaya, pag derecho na lang isolve natin yung, yung, uh, yung integrand. So, dito natin kukunin yung dito. Kukunin natin yan yung limit. So, when x is equal to 0, substitute natin, 0 is equal to r sine of theta. Okay? I-cross-multiply natin to dito, the 0 over r is 0, therefore, uh, arc sine of theta is, arc sine of 0 is equal to 0. Okay? So, when x is equal to r, ito na, itong r na to. Okay? Squat na ng space. So, when x equals to r, substitute natin yan. Uh, na. This is r is equal to r sine of theta. Dito tayo nagsusubstitute uh, doon sa nil nilet natin. Of course, pag sinolve natin ito, uh, sine theta is equal to r over r or this is equal to 1. Therefore, pag, pag nilabas natin yung angle, in the inverse natin, di ba? This is arc sine of ito, yung value nyan, 1. Ito lang ang para, para, para mailabas natin yung angle sa sine function. So, pupunta, ma, masisipalit yung angle, makukuha mo. And uh, what is uh, arc sine of 1? Dito tayo sa calculator natin. Saan na yung calculator? Ito. Yan. Yung arc sine of 1 is equal to 90 degrees. So, okay. Ano ba yan? Okay, so, nakita nyo naman yung arc sine kanina. Na, na plus na yung... So, this is equal to 90 degrees. And, di ba, yung... Uh, ito kasi pag uh, nagko-compute tayo, hindi in degrees, kundi in radians. So, convert natin yung 90 degrees sa radian. We know that 180 degrees is equal to pi. Na, na, nasabi ko na ito noon. Therefore, yung pag i-divide mo ito sa to, this becomes 90 degrees. Of course, divide din yung sa kabila. Kaya yung 90 degrees equals to pi over 2. Therefore, this is equal to pi over 2. Okay, so... Yeah, oh, pwede rin naman. I-retain mo na lang 90 degrees. Anyway, walang problema yan. So, dito, substitute na natin yung yung value ngayon. So, dito, ito na ngayon yung magiging integral natin. 
as transpose as substituted by trigo function. The limit is 0 to pi over 2. So, kung magsusolve kayo, yung malinis, hindi yung may parang malabo. So, copy lang natin ito, square root of r squared minus yung x natin, ito yung value daw. R, naka-square siya, therefore, uh, sige, sulat ko na lang, anan? Squared, okay? Times, ano yung dx? dx is r cosine of theta d theta. Okay, so we distribute the power to each term here. Uh, R squared, this is sine squared. So, sinumusun lang natin para para naman may, medyo hindi malito yung iba. So, R squared minus R squared sine squared theta. We have R here. Cosine theta d theta. Okay, so we factor out R squared 0 to pi over 2. This is square root of r squared. So, pag factor out natin, matitira dito, of course, 1. Matitira dito yung sine squared theta. Okay? So, we have r here, cosine theta d theta. So, um, of course, we can distribute now the square root or the power of 1 not here. So, this is uh, square root of r squared becomes r. So, let na rin dito. So, this is r. Mantala ito. Matitira ito sa 1 minus sine squared is cosine squared theta. Dito yung kanina. Okay? And we have r cosine theta d theta. Of course, kung i-write natin ito dito, so, we have r here, we have r here. So, lalabas na yung pi r squared, di ba? Yan na yung formula natin. Area equals to pi r squared. O, meron na tayong r squared. Hanapin na lang natin yung pi. So, yun, di ba? r times r, r squared. So, labas natin. So, r squared. So, ngingiti na tayo kasi nga yung isang term ay nakuha na natin. So, this is square root of, ano? This is square root of cosine squared become cosine times cosine. So, magiging cosine squared theta d theta. And of course, we don't have a direct solution for cosine squared theta. Pero meron tayong equivalent, di ba? Yung trigo identities. Sana yun? Yung cosine squared. Ito. Cosine squared theta is 1 half, 1 plus cosine of 2 theta. So it is very important as I have to memorize this. Uh, some of the ideas, not all, pero kung pwede, ba okay lang. Memorize na yung mga, alam na natin ito, memorize na natin ito. Oh, ito, memorize na yan. <coughs> Naging partner ng life natin ito. Memorize na yan. So, ito na lang. Baka hindi nyo ito memorize. Memorize na lang. Ito na. Sin, cos, cos, sin, cos, cos, sin, sin. Diba? Pag hindi dinibayad mo yung taas sa baba, yung tangent, yung plus B. So, ganyan yan. Kabalik tayo dito. <coughs> so, ito pala, <coughs> we can replace this with this is pi squared. Oh, yung limit. Zero to pi over 2, 0 to pi over 2. So, we can replace this by its equivalent. 1 plus cosine of 2 theta. Of course, we have d theta over 2. Okay. So, so this is now, this now has a power of 1. Therefore, we can integrate this separately yung 1 saka yung cosine of 2 theta. Yung 2, ilagay natin din sa labas. So this is now integral of, this is pi over 2, 0 to pi over 2. Okay, so ito na yung 1 plus uh, cosine of 2 theta d theta. 
So, separate natin kung gusto niya. So, ito na ngayon siya. This is pi over 2. 0 to pi over 2. D theta. Okay, yung ito. Plus na, of course, yung pi over 2. <coughs> Magmumultiply din dito, pi over 2. Um, times 0 to pi over 2 cosine of 2 theta d theta. Pero kung, kung master nyo, dito na lang, diretso na kayo mag, mag, mag integrate dito. Alam na naman, ibabalance lang naman natin ito ng 1 up, diba? So, uh, tingnan natin ito, cosine u d u, yung co, derivative of cosine u, yung u natin is dito dapat is 2 d theta. Therefore, we lock the number 2. We balance this with 2. So, this becomes uh, ayan, 1 half. <coughs> okay. So, we continue. So, ito na ngayon yung result. So, this one, this is pi over 2. The integral of this is only theta. Ito naman, plus um, pi over 4. The integral of this is uh, what is the integral of cosine 2 theta? This is sine of 2 theta. Okay? So, yung limit natin 0 to pi over 2. Sabay na lang natin yung limit. Okay? So, yan. Yan ang ito na yung integral natin. Pero, if we substitute the uh, limit, upper limit and the lower limit. Tika muna, may, may mali tayo, ba't ba, yung may sulat ko dito, yung R, R, ba't na pi dito? So, this is R, okay? R. Ano ba yan? So, R ito, may pala, eh, medyo na, ano ba, ba't naging ito? R, correct natin yung sarili natin, okay? R, this is R, this is R. This is R. Okay. So we substitute now the the limit. Yung ito yung upper limit and lower limit. Substitute natin dito sa yung variable natin dito is yung theta. Yung R naman is constant yung radius. Okay. So <clears throat> sa upper limit we have R over two times pi over 2. Okay? Kamo na. May, may kulang pa tayo. Ba't na, ano ba yan? R squared ito. R squared. R squared. R squared. R squared. Parang hindi na kukulangan ako sa solution. Kaya pala may, meron tayong <coughs> na hindi na kukupya. Eh, yan, yan, mahina ko sa pagkopya. Eh. Yan ang problema ko. Hindi ako nangungupya. So, R squared. <coughs> so, upper limit. Okay? So, di, yung, we will substitute the limit. Yung pi over 2. Yung pi over 2 dito. Okay? Yung upper limit. So, ito muna yung upper limit. Okay? Plus r squared over 4 sine of 2 times pi over 2. Okay? So, ito yung upper limit. So, minus now, dito ko lang sulat yung sa baba. Again, yung substitute din natin dito yung 0. So, we have r squared over 2 times 0 plus r squared over 4 
times sine of 2 times 0. So, upper limit, ito, minus the lower limit. Okay? So, tingnan natin kung anong mangyari. <clears throat> so, we have your r squared, r squared, uh, r squared times pi. We have 2, 2, so 4. So, we have pi r squared over 4. Ah, ang ganda. Meron na tayong pi r squared. Oh. So, ito. Ano to? Uh, 2 pi divided by 2 is mag magka-cancel yung 2. This is pi. Pi is equal to 180 degrees. And uh, yung sine of 180 degrees is equal to 0. Okay, so this becomes, ito magiging 0 na to. Kasi nga yung sine of pi or 180 degrees is 0. <coughs> Dito naman, this is equal to 0 din. Diba? So sine of 0, again, is also equal to 0. Therefore, yung area natin, ito na. Pi r squared over 4. <clears throat> Pero yung area natin is, ano, pi r squared. Oh, may over 4 tayo dito. Kasi nga yung, yung, yung pag-solve natin kanina, sinolve lang natin yung 1 fourth. Ito lang, 1 fourth lang sinolve natin, di ba? So, kung 1 fourth yan, Yung area of a circle, yung total circle, i-multiply natin ng 4. Okay, so therefore yung answer natin kanina, so ito, ito pala yung area of a quarter of a circle. Therefore, the area of a circle is pi r squared over 4 times 4, or this is now equal to pi r squared. So this is the area of a circle. So ngayon, alam nyo na kung paano na derive yan. So, <coughs> bihira lang ang meron yan. Ang mga engineering lang ang medyo nakakalam niya, di ba? Um, area about circle. So, tumawa na kayo, magmalaki na po. Oh, I will derive the area about circle. Di ba? Ganun. So, biro lang. So, this will end uh, my video about the derivation of the area of a circle.